Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to create an easy animation using the Wick Editor. This is free software that will run directly in your web browser. So just head to wickeditor.com. You can use it on any device, Windows, Mac, or even iPad. All right, here it is, a new blank document. First, I will change some settings. Click here. We can modify the background color and the size of the artboard. Click apply. And here it is, our new artboard size. I will zoom out a little bit so you can see the whole artboard. Let's modify the timeline size like this. Pull it up so you can see more layers in our timeline. That would be really handy. All right, let's work with this first layer. I will rename this, click on the layer, and then on the right side in the inspector, you can type a new name, backdrop. This will be my backdrop layer. Now I'm going to pick a brush from the top. You are free to modify the size and the color of the brush from the tool panel at the top of the screen. I'll pick green color because I want to draw some kind of grass, some kind of backdrop for my animation. Today we're going to create animation showing the life cycle of the plant. All right, so let's start with the grass at the bottom of the screen. Don't worry if you pop up outside the artboard. That's all right. It will be invisible after you export the animation. Fill it with the bucket tool. It's not perfect, so I think I'm going to back to my brush and paint over a little bit like this. All right. And here it is. I got first frame on my backdrop layer. This is my backdrop. Now I want to change the color. I cannot find the color I want into swatches, so I move to this spectrum. I can pick any color I want from here. And I will make some kind of muddy puddle in the middle. All right, this is our backdrop. I'm going to create a new layer. I got layer two, drag it at the top. I will pick a shape tool to draw a lips. Something like this. I'll make it darker. I will modify the color and I will reduce the stroke around to zero. I just need the fill color, not the border color. Something like this. Let's try again. This is my second layer, layer number two, the first frame. And here's my shape. We can use move tool to reposition or even resize the shape. Now, the most important part, I'm going to add twin to this frame. Add twin, and as you can see, the circle change into diamond shape. I will extend this layer like this and add twin again at the end. Now I got this arrow between two points. Means the software will be responsible on changing what is in between. So I can just go to this frame 24 and move the position of this object down. And now all frames in between will be done for me by the software itself. This is called in-betweening. I don't need to go frame by frame myself. I just set up the first keyframe and the last keyframe and all frames in between are made by the software. All right, let's extend the frame with the backdrop like this on my timeline so we can see the backdrop all the time, not only in the first frame. I create a new blank layer here. I'm going to do a new object. I need a cloud here, so let's pick the color and the brush tool. I will draw it outside the artboard. I want this to ease into the screen, not to just pop up in the middle. Maybe darker color, this will be like rain cloud, so it should be darker. Let's redraw it. All right, and I'm going to use the same trick here. I'm going to twin this object. So click on this frame. And then you need to click the twin button to change the circle into diamond shape like this, extend this, and then make a new keyframe. In this new keyframe, I change position of the object. All right, extend this keyframe. 
let's make a next keyframe here, add two in here. All right, and then one more. So extend again and add the final keyframe here. And now I'm going to move object out. So the cloud will go in, stay for a moment in the middle and then go out. Let's extend the background layer as well so we can see it too. Like here and let's play it. What do we have now? Let's wait for the circle. Here it is. See it go down. Then the cloud come in, wait and go out. All right. That was really easy. We use this tweening in betweening to create smooth animation. We just need to set up keyframes and our objects will move around the screen. We can also extend the frame like we do for the backdrop. We just use the same frame all the time. We just extend the duration of that frame by dragging it to the right. All right, I just create layer number three. I need new layer here. I'm going to use ellipse tool to draw little raindrops here. This is on the new layer. All right, I got this frame here, extend the frame, but first change to twin. We can twin this, extend the frame and make a new keyframe here. Now on this new keyframe, I can change the position of the object. As you may remember, move it down. We can even resize the object. I make it flat like this and object will adjust as well. It's not only about movement. Twinning can also resize and rotate object for us. All right, let's give it a go. If you're using this slider, you can see frames in between done, done for us by the software. Okay, let's adjust the initial position, the first keyframe. We can move it a little bit higher to put it like inside the cloud. All right. And now we got this rainfall here and then the cloud is moving away. All right, that's what exactly what we need. So we did all of that using twinning, in betweening. It speed up our workflow a lot. All right, speed up our workflow greatly. We don't need to do it frame by frame. We can just set up keyframes and everything in between will be done for us by the software. All right, now I'm going to zoom in. So I click on zoom in and then I click on pan so I can position myself here. I'm going to use brush tool and now we will do some different style of animation. Instead of twin, we're going to do frame by frame animation. So I simply going to draw it again and again. Prepare my tool, change the color. And now I'm going to draw a little plant here. So this is one frame. I add next one. I cannot see what was under. So I need to turn on onion skin. This way I can see what was under on the previous frame. Click here, new frame. Draw a little bit, click and new frame. Don't draw too much on one frame. All right, we need animation here. So go frame by frame. Now I just speed up this video a little bit. It's quite boring and time consuming process. If you're, do, you're doing the frame by frame animation. All right, you need to redraw the shape again and again. If you make mistake, you can always click undo button. There is undo button at the top. You can also use keyboard shortcut, command or control Z. All right, I'm drawing this again and again on the new frame. Thanks to onion skin, I can see what was in the previous frame. You got this like ghost like image, transparent image of the previous frame. This will be invisible in the final animation. This is just for me here to help me animate. It's called onion skin. Okay, using the built-in brush tool to do this frame by frame animation of the plant grow. So we are mixing two styles of animation here. We got some elements that are twin and some elements that go frame by frame. Here it is. We got little plants growing from the seed. All right, as you can see, I extend the last frame so the plant will stay with us, will not disappear suddenly. 
To extend the frame, you just drag right side of the frame to the right to make it longer. All right, let's make a new layer here. Sorry, new frame in the layer number three. And now I'm going to use similar technique, frame by frame technique to draw flowers. I'm on layer above the plant, so I'm do not, I will not mess with the plant itself. I don't need to redraw the plant for every frame with the flower. This is new layer, so I can just focus on little flowers using the built-in brush tool. Okay, one more frame with the final form of the flower, something like this. This brush tool can be really clunky on magic mouse, sometimes he pick up the scrolling gesture, so be careful. Alright, let's fill in with color and draw additional Maybe pick one more color, something like yellow or orange. Like this. All right. Let's zoom out to see the whole picture. Use pen tool to drag your camera higher. Now we can go slide our mouse to see what will happen here. All right, we got this frame by frame segment of the plant. All right, seems like it's done. I can extend the last frame for the flowers as well. And I'm going to change it into twin. I want to twin this, so add twin. And one more here. And I'm going to move it further and add one more here. My goal is to move it down, but I cannot see background now. As you can see, I will need to extend background further to cover more frames. So go back to backdrop layer and drag the side of the backdrop layer to the right. Extend this frame so we can see it through whole animation. Okay, and then I got this twin, so my flowers will fall down from the plant. All right, let's extend the plant under here fall down like this and now I want my plant to dry and disappear. To do that I will use frame by frame technique again. So I will need to draw it frame by frame, no shortcuts here. New frame, change the color, pick the brush tool and again I will draw it frame by frame. That's it. Today we have created nice simple animation showing our plant life cycle. I hope you learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel to learn more about animation, graphics and office apps. Thank you and see you in my next tutorial.